Hey, Twink, how would you feel about sneaking out of here again? Shall we try? Princess Peach, you've gotten so bold. And here I thought you were gentle and delicate. Oh, I... I am delicate! I'm behaving like a delicate princess, just like the ministers taught me to. I love to be delicate! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyway, let's go for it. Yeah, delicate. That sure and diddly do does do if describe me. Yes, it does. <laughs> Blah. Anyway, hey guys, Manly Masse here with another episode of Peach's Adventure. That sounds very contradictory, but we will run with it. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and sneak out of here. Is there anything in this corner anymore? No, this this corner is just sad and deserted. We'll never see that corner again. Anyway. Go through this door, and we have a new place that we can go to. I think it's here. No, it's not up here. I thought that there was another ledge. Okay, so, um, it is this way. Sneak past him, and I'm getting lost. Where the frick is it? Is it this? It's not this, is it? What the heck? Uh... Uh... What? No, this is the library. Where the- what? I- I thought I knew where it was! No, wait! <sighs> okay, I don't remember this castle as well as I would like to, but I guess where we're supposed to go is down here. Probably that door. Because I remember it being, like, the top left corner of one of the areas! I thought he was going the other way. Perfect. Okay, well, one of these days I'll actually make it there. Thank you. Okay, it should be this door. I remember it being on the left, so I think... Yep, here we go. Caught again! Oh, it's Princess Peach. How'd she get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip his wig if we don't take her back to her room. King Bowser has a wig? I guess a toupee? <laughs> now hang on just a second. Get a grip on yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. Well, yeah, no kidding. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal, and we need a third person. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, you might be onto something. Okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, have you been listening? Come this way. We won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. We're set up right over here. Oh no, Princess Peach! I mean, I'm not complaining. We're on like a freaking game show of sorts. Koopa Corpse presents the 64th <laughs> Trivia Quiz Off! I'm your host, Mr. Hammer! <laughs> I love how game showy this is for just a casual game. Let's get right to it, hey? I'm gonna ask you 10 questions and the contestant who gets the most right is our winner. Press A when you think you know the answer, okay folks? So, we're gonna have a reaction time thing going on here. Okay, so the winner will get a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, and I gotta tell you, we're also giving prizes just for participating. So everyone will be a winner. That's just the kind of show we are. Good old consolation prize, I suppose. Okay, so question one. Who wants any of the balls inside the volcano level? Okay, well, we just saw this. All right, Princess Peach. His name was Lava Piranha, and I love how Princess Peach somehow knows this, even though... Granted, I guess the name should be a tip-off. Uh, next question! Where did Mr. Huff and Puff? Okay, blah, 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 me. Okay, well, we technically don't know the answer, but it's not Toad Town or Goomba Village, I can assure you of that. So, Flower Fields! Also, I love how Twink is just, like, not bothering to hide at all. He's just there watching and chilling. Uh, the scary round monster living dry dark ruins. Round scary monster is a chump! Unless the Goomba is particularly chubby, but I don't think there's any Goombas in Dry Room, so it's a chump. Uh, you still got a chance to make a comeback? No, you don't, because I'm me! Crap! 
No, wait! Wait, he wasn't supposed to... No! No, I got distracted! I got distracted by trash talk! Oh. Uh. Wait, what? The person who really loves... Are you for real? <laughs> the... <laughs> really? Really? Uh, okay, sure. Make me answer that now. Um... Boop. Wait, I pressed A! I pressed A! Come on! Come the frick on! Name of the most admirable, invincible, just downright cool guy or... I'm upset. I'm upset. This... This is the enemy of those who like to read with the question. Okay, keep my mouth shut. Blah, 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 blah. Me. Me. Uh, the name was Boo. Yes. My memory. Uh... What? I actually didn't read this? What? Just... What? Wait. What? I'm so confused. What? It was just south of... What? <sighs> Where is Princess Peach's castle now? <laughs> Uh, it's on top of Bowser's castle! Man, uh, I sucked at that. So the 64th trivia quiz off has ended in great success! The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach! Congratulations, Peach, here's your prize! And we got a jam and jelly for winning! Which is pretty awesome, it's a good item, so... yes! By the way, you can theoretically look up all of the answers, but I wanted to see what it was, just naturally. Uh, we'll see you at the next qu trivia quiz off! Cool! Thumbs up! Thanks, man! Appreciate it! Oh, Princess Peach! I almost forgot! Here's your prize for participating! We got the Sneaky Parasol! A, fa a fabulous parasol given to quiz show participants! Uh, if you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person! You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. <laughs> hey, it's only a prize for participating, so what did you expect? Seriously? Really? Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, it looks like fun! I'm gonna join in! Oh, you gonna get it. You go and get it. <laughs> what? You've already finished? Oh, of all the rotten luck. Gah! Princess Peach? What's she doing here? She sneaked out again. Grr. You take Princess Peach back to her room now. Yes, sir. Sorry, Princess Peach. <laughs> no! I love how every single one of these ends with Peach saying no in some way, shape, or form. Anyway, here we go. We're getting carried out by the star. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you. No treasure in the world is more valuable than, you, than life. Be thankful you escaped. To think this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will subside, and Lava Lava Island will be just the same as it used to be. But... <gasps> he looks super depressed, man. <laughs> Dear Mario, you have saved five of us star spirits now. Just a few more to go. My name is Mistar. Let me grant you power that will help you along. Mario's star energy goes up to five. Mario can now use Smooch, a new star spirit power. With Smooch, you can restore Mario's HP. I have to go back to Star Haven for now, but if you need me, please call on me at any time. I will be watching you and wishing for your success. I know you'll see the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. There she goes. 
Oh, I was so close. The treasure right there. And then you get saved and yelled at by some sort of blooming great starfish. Wow, he's like super depressed and dejected about surviving that whole ordeal. Uh, Colorado. Pat's on the back, man, but uh, you, you, you gotta cheer yourself up. Thankfully, we had a very far view of where the treasure chest landed, which I'm gonna go and do, but I wanted to see... Yes, he's still here, and he's not, like, depressed anymore, thankfully. I must get my hands on the volcano's treasure. My keen intuition senses there must be a way. Hmm, I suppose there's a slim chance it's blown clear in the eruption. I'd best check around the village for some clues. Well, he is, he's not giving up, I'll give him that much. Anyway, I do want to point something out that, uh, this one, I think, yes, the eruption of Mount Lava Lava really threw me for a loop. At loop. I think I lost my appetite. If you give him a cooked item, he will give you a melon. I'm not sure off the top of my head what a melon specifically does, and I don't think we have any in our, any cooked food in our storage, unfortunately, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, I'll, I'll, like, check in a little bit. But we do have Mr. Bobo over there that we have to go visit, as well as this treasure chest. You got the volcano vase. Oh, gee, I wonder who would like to have this. But if we grab sushi, go ahead and jump on her back. If we come over here and visit Mr. Bubble, he'll tell us something interesting. Hello! How are you? Long time no see. Oh, hello! How are you doing? What? You want that see? Oh, I completely forgot you. I just gave it to a guy named Colorado or something. Sorry about that. I'm so generous that I just have to give something to everyone. Well, I I'm someone, right? You can give it to me. You give me one of those petals of yours. I don't care. <laughs> okay, maybe don't do that. That would probably hurt him. That, that would feel bad. But anyway, so Colorado now has that seed. I wonder how we're going to pry it from his hands. Hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and hurry on along. I'm going to be really sad to leave the song behind, by the way. This song is just... I love this song. That one part. <sighs> Bye, jungle. It was nice knowing you. Do I talk to Mr. Colorado? Hello, sir. Let's give you this vase. Mario, good heavens! It's the treasure! How on earth did you? Well, I suppose that's of no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? Uh-huh. You, you are giving it to me? Oh, glory! Marvelous! Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's a meow. Cheers! Yes, hmm, I suppose. It's only proper that I give this to you as my thanks. And we get a magical seed! Who didn't see that coming? Let's get it? Who didn't see that coming? Ha 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 ha, bad. Uh, I'm sure it's quite a valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all. Now that I've got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success. What a stupendous expedition! It will forever be record it will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, old boy, let's away back to Toad Town with us. And just like he said, it's time for us to head home. I'm gonna go ahead and check in my storage real quick. Yoshi! I love you. I love his color. He's so pretty. Uh, what's your pleasure? Well, I, I can think of many things, but... Uh... To claim. Let's see... Do I have anything cooked? Oh, I have a hot shroom! Uh, yeah, let's give him the hot shroom. Or maple super. Uh, no, I'll give him the hot shroom, I think. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so if we come out here and talk to Mr. Yellow Yoshi. Mmm, sniff, sniff. Something smells really good. Is that delicious smell coming from something you're carrying? Whatever it is, I want to try it. Come on, what is it? And we can give him this hot shroom. Oh, thank you. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. Here, why don't you take this as a thank you from me? It grows in a place that only I know about. Trust me, it's good. And it's a melon. A succulent ripe melon restores 15 HP. 
I believe we can also cook with it, but I'm not gonna be concerned about that right now. Uh, do you give us any more? Yeah, you can pre pretty much get as many as you want from him, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, before we head out, I want to grab two coconuts. Uh, okay, there's no more in that tree. There's clearly two coconuts in that tree game. Don't you lie to me. Uh, can I, can I hit that one? Nope. Okay, so, so there's a very specific reason. We'll obviously see... Uh, pow block. Sorry, pow block. Pow, blo pow block, you're kind of the least useful thing to me right now. But we're gonna have to find out what we want those coconuts for in the next episode because we've done enough for now. So, next time, we'll be heading back to Toad Town. I will see you guys then. Messina out. <laughs>